mention to the Hari Sharma Foundation for generously providing a donation that made this uh, event possible. Uh, Raj Chauhan has also been a, a supporter of this event. I'd like to acknowledge that. Um, and of course, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the Musqueam people, uh, who uh, must be acknowledged. Uh, so uh, there's something about inclusivity that always has captured my attention in growing up in the West. Uh, the discourses of inclusivity, the discourses of peace, uh, that, that, you know, the, the, the struggle for peace, the struggle for understanding the predicaments that we find ourselves in, uh, is something that is, we confront every day in the West, in North America, uh, in this construction that we call the West. And uh, as the, these, these discussions, I think, are often not, they, they don't have any space within the realm of Sanskrit studies within the, in the realm that is so focused on thinking about only the past that we forget about these kinds of questions about the present um, and how one can achieve certain kinds of inclusivity or uh, uh, heterogeneity, right, or understanding of different voices. And so this is what this, I uh, hopefully this is what this evening is about, is about listening, uh, not speaking. It's about allowing for space, allowing for discussion, understanding, and uh, even silence of some kind. And it can be beneficial. And not just positions or arguments or debates and anger and those sorts of things. So that's my only perspective. It's a sheer delight for me to, to welcome these uh, three just, you know, uh, just complete admiration of all three of you in terms of your scholarship and your personalities and your friendship uh, uh, in short and long periods of time. So without further ado, let me turn it over to Mangatan Davos, my colleague at UBC, uh, who will introduce the uh, two featured speakers. Thank you.